happening in East Hampton. A chase that ended with a crash as part of a busy stretch of road shut down at this hour. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise Desenzo. It started in the town of Portland and ended in East Hampton. On Route 16, right near Flatbrook Road, and that's where we find Channel 3's Karen Lee live on the scene with some new information for us. Karen, what can you tell us? Well, Denise and Dennis, we're right at the crash scene right now behind me. You can see some flashing lights. Those are actually the flatbeds loading the car that was at the center of this chase. Now, the car only stopped when we're told it slipped on a patch of ice on the road and then slammed into a guardrail. The crash so strong, we're told that it actually damaged a support pole and wire on the other side. Now, fire crews tell us they had to actually cut the driver and the passenger out of the car before they were flown by Lifestar to the hospitals. Police tell us that that both were alert and speaking with them on scene. Now this all goes back to Portland this afternoon when the red sedan at the center of this is said to have rear ended an animal control van, but it didn't stop and kept going. 911 calls then came pouring in about an erratic driver on Route 66. The police chase then went from Portland into East Hampton and we're told the red car then sideswiped two more cars before crashing right here on Route 16. Now back live again, you can see the flashing lights here. State police as well as East Hampton police are here. Once they load that car and tow it away, Route 16 will be back open. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Karen Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.